Apply your accounts payable internal controls, protecting you from unseen dangers, or are they leaving you exposed to financial disaster? Behind the illusion of strong accounts payable internal controls lies a dangerous truth. Many organizations unknowingly overlook critical weak spots that leave them vulnerable to a host of risks and potential losses. From unsuspected errors and duplicate payments to the insidious threat of fraud, these overlooked areas form the breeding ground for financial disasters. We'll shed light on three commonly ignored areas that silently compromise the integrity of the accounts payable process. But it doesn't end there. Brace yourself for the shocking revelations as we unveil a single, seemingly innocuous mistake that permeates countless organizations eroding the very foundation of separation of duties, paving the way for catastrophic fraud. Stay with us until the end for the secrets we unveil may just reshape your understanding of accounts payable internal controls. Hey guys, I'm Mary Schaefer, founder of AP Now, the place where you go for the latest business intelligence if you work and manage or have responsibility for the accounts payable and or payments function. Control mistake number one, failure to cancel credit cards of departing employees. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, but we get the cards back, why do we have to cancel them? Isn't that just a lot of extra work for nothing? Consider this, a devious employee could simply write down or memorize the card number, the expiration date, and the CVC number, and then go shopping online to their heart's content. If the card wasn't canceled, the transactions would go through. Collecting that money from an employee who no longer works for you, especially if the parting wasn't amiable, can be a challenge and quite often futile. If you're thinking, well then, we only have to cancel the cards for employees who left under less than favorable circumstances, you might be in for a rude awakening. You really never know how someone feels, and they could be harboring resentment for a mispromotion, a smaller than expected raise, or a myriad of other things. You get where I'm going. Cancel them all. We've got a longer issue on this issue of employees playing games with their expense report, and there's a link to it in the description. Control mistake number two, not researching every vendor credit to determine why it happened. In reality, very few companies do this. But without this vital business intelligence, organizations repeat the same mistake over and over again, potentially costing them millions of dollars. Why? Because not every supplier is honest about credits. Some issue credit memos which are not always handled correctly. Others simply deposit the funds and say nothing, hoping that you'll make the same mistake again and again. Thus, it is critical that not only do you identify the credits and recover them, but figure out why they happened in the first place. Then take action and adjust your processes to ensure that it doesn't happen again. The very best way to find these credits is to do regular statement audits. Of course, having a third party payment audit done is also a good way to identify these erroneous and duplicate payments. Disappearing vendor credits are a headache for many. We did a short video on this issue, which I'll link in the description below. Control mistake number three, failure to cut off ERP access when someone is promoted. Now, if you're scratching your head thinking, what is she talking about? Bear with me. Each position is, has limited access to the ERP in order for the organization to achieve an appropriate separation of duties. You know that. If it is not closed off each time a person leaves for a new job, after a while, especially with someone who is frequently promoted, the person will have access to large swaths of your ERP, completely negating your separation of duties protocols. So. Each time someone is promoted, make sure their access is cut off and then new access is provided for their new job by their new boss. Separation of duties is one of those tricky areas that most don't focus on too much. This is unfortunate as it provides the underpinnings of a strong internal control framework and there are so many little places where it can be compromised. We recently did a short video on separation of duties failures, which you can watch right now using the link that will appear momentarily on your YouTube screen and is in the description below. As always, we appreciate your, your thumbs up. They help us grow as the more thumbs up and comments we get, the more YouTube shares the recording with other professionals who might like it and benefit from it. So a big thank you to everyone who takes the time to click the thumbs up button.